Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Maya with Simply Bloom. If you missed it, I did a video, I think two videos ago, of a plant unboxing from Plant Arena. She has a YouTube account or channel, an Instagram account. Um, she does a really a lot of cool things with house plants. I have to give it to her. She does a lot of really cool things. And she had a Black Friday sale on her house plants, 40% off. I was super excited. So I ordered five plants, um, a, a mixture of pothos and philodendrons because I want to do a living wall inspired by Janie from Dig Plant Water Repeat, inspired by her living headboard that she has above her bed. So long story short, I am in a zone three, northern Minnesota. We had kind of a cold snap, which is expected for winter time. I got my plants in two days earlier than expected from Plant Arena, and they were frozen. <laughs> Frost damage all over the leaves, and I've had a couple people ask on a review because there were some good leaves still on those plants that I unboxed. I'll leave that video linked below in the description box below if you wanna go watch it. And today I'm gonna do a review. This. <laughs> is my review. <laughs> now, not all of them look like this. Um, so they range from looking like this, completely dead, to looking pretty decent. So I thought I would just start. It's the weirdest thing. Um, it almost looks like some of them were suffering from root rot. I know it just does like their leaves I trimmed off all the frost damage they were looking good I didn't water them because they were still plenty moist when I received them they were looking really really good and then all of a sudden um here I'll show you this one like at the base of the leaves right down there this one is is dry um, but it looked like they were suffering from root rot so I wanted to kind of let them dry out a little bit more but like right at the base, even this one's starting to do it. It turns yellow and then brown right at the base, like right there. And then it just pulls out super easy. And there's like no roots on the ones that pull out. So whether it was something from being frozen, but I did, it didn't look like frost damage. It looked more like root rot to me. Um, Here's, yeah, can you see that? How they've turned brown right there. It's not focusing, focus. It turns brown right there at the base. And then the leaves just, well, geez, they pull right out, right out. There's no roots, it's just brown, so. I have contacted Plant Arena. It happened first with the Silver Splash, which was this one, the Patho Silver Splash. I was the most excited for this one, so I was really disappointed when I saw what was happening. I contacted Plant Arena. I sent them pictures. They refunded me for this plant. <laughs> like two days after that went down, now the other ones are starting to do it too. So honestly, I can't tell the difference between the Pothos Golden and the Global Green Pothos. One is one, one is the other. This one has like smaller variegation and this one on the leaves that are left. These are struggling. Obviously this one more so, and now this one's starting to get it. My Neon Philodendron looks like it could go either way. It doesn't look horrible, but last night I just pulled a bunch of leaves out. Like there's part of one. So I feel like this could swing either way. I'm not sure which way it's gonna go. I hope it decides to survive and pull through. I hope so. And then my last one, which I am 
the most happy that this is the one doing well because this is my favorite. This is the Brazil philodendron. Love that. The variegated leaves. Reminds me of a hosta. I love hostas. Love me some good hostas. I planted a bunch of hostas last year. Um, and I, I love this one. So I'm the most excited. But then I went to Home Depot the other day to buy pots before they all started falling apart on me because I wanted to buy pots for my living wall. And guess what Home Depot had in? They had beautiful pothos, philodendrons, beautiful, big. They were like this size pot and just loaded with lush leaves, greenery, and, <laughs> and they were still cheaper for those big, beautiful ones than what I paid for these little ones on sale. I should have just bought local, but the reason why I bought online is one, I like to support people that aren't big box stores. So um, anytime I can support someone else, I'm like, yes, um, nothing wrong with big box stores. I just like to support, you know, individuals and local greenhouse centers and stuff. Um, but my garden or my Home Depot, I looked for philodendrons and pothos and they had like one or two that didn't look that great. So that's why I ordered a lot online, but then right after I got these in and I went to my Home Depot, they had gorge, they must have just gotten a shipment in. Gorgeous plants. So gorgeous. Um, as of right now, I still want to do a living wall, but I don't know when. I don't, I, as of right now, I'd say the only two plants that are somewhat okay. Um, is the neon and the Brazil philodendron. And I kind of like it because, you know, the, the variegated leaf in the philodendron matches the, the neon pothos really, really well. But I want at least three. I like working in odd numbers. So I got five to do five. If I don't want to just do two. So I would love to get a third one. Maybe if I just get like a jade from my local Home Depot that will bring in the dark green and then the light green. Anyways, anywho, that's my update. If anyone, like I, um, I haven't said this in this video. I said in my last unboxing video, I am a brand new baby when it comes to house plants. Janie, again, from Dig Plant Water Repeat, check her out. I'll have her link below. She got me started on house plants. She did a house plant tour and ever since then, I've fallen in love with house plants. I'm not sure when I'll be doing the living wall, but definitely please stay tuned. If you have any advice on what's going on here, please let me know. Like I said, Plant Arena refunded me for the silver splash here, and I just contacted them about the other Pothos Golden and global green pothos um and i sent them pictures again and there's like mold issues going on i've only had these for like two and a half three weeks so it's just really weird i don't know if it's my error if it was the plants coming in so give me advice please i would love to know what to do <laughs> so please subscribe and follow along because i really do want to do a living wall i will get to it eventually i just really want healthy luscious plants right from the get-go. I don't want to have like a weird sickly plant living wall. I'd like to have a full luscious wall right away. So please follow along for that. <laughs> Give me advice. I'm here for it. That is it. That is my update on my plants that froze. Some of them are doing great-ish. I say this is doing great. This is great-ish. And then the other two are struggling and then one is just dead so that's that's what happened but that is it for this video thank you so much for following along <laughs> i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time bye